name is Dr. Yahya Baba Adamu. I'm a senior consultant cardiothoracic surgeon with the National Hospital of Abuja. Well, I really want to see it like uh, a call. Maybe I'm being spiritual now, but I, I see it. Frankly, that's how it was because before now, I've never met a cardiothoracic surgeon. Neither have I ever seen a cardiac surgery going on anywhere in the world. It was just like I woke up and something just kept ringing in my head. You have to do cardiothoracic surgery against every order and opposition from the hospital management at that time. I, I had to go on. It took me six years moving from place to place. And I was not deterred, and eventually I got to where I am. So I see it like a, a call that I cannot really explain how it came, but yeah, I am. If you go around, it's not by choice. Anywhere in the world you go, you are sure that you have one percent of every life bed will come up with congenital cardiac defects. And if you take that and consider the population of Nigeria, then you can imagine how many children have this ailment. And this is not by their own choice, but by by birth they have this. And if you have people who carry on this, you can be sure most of them will not celebrate their fifth birthday. Okay? And many of them will never get to 18. So the question is, can we just keep looking at these children and allow them to die? I don't think this is tolerated anywhere in the world besides Nigeria. So each time I see these children, they are my great motivator to see that this program remains on and running. I had this nine-year-old girl who has what we call a hole in heart, as they call it. You know. But it's not a type that you really need to stop the heart. But the parents have been moving from one hospital to another. The last time they were in Ahmad Bello University teaching hospital, they were told that they have to go to India. So they were given a letter to go and raise some funds to seek for two million naira so that they could go to India and have their operation done. So it was in that process, somehow they came to my clinic here in the National Hospital and I look at them. I say, what you have, you don't need to stop the heart, so I do not think you need to go all the way to India. I can handle that here. And I was like, they couldn't believe it, but they had to give it a chance, especially that they don't have the funds. So because they don't have the money, they agreed that they would do it here, even though before them we have been doing it. So. They, I think they spent less than a hundred thousand naira, and we took them in. In about an hour, the surgery was over. By the second day, the child was ready for discharge. We just came to him for one extra day, and the third day we discharged them home. The child was nine then. I think by now he's already a big guy, probably sixteen or seventeen year old. And since then, every year. Whenever they are doing any celebration, the parents will call. The father will speak with me, the mother will take over, they will give it to the daughter, and everybody will say thank you, thank you, thank you. And this is part of the things that really touch one's heart personally. You know, that some of these parents and the kids never forget what you do. They keep it on. And this is how it's been. But even in the, in the face of hopelessness, there can be hope somewhere. Mm -hmm.